Hey guys, the objective for this video is to derive the equations of motion using the conservation of momentum. So in the last topic we had a look um, at the conservation of momentum equation um, that we've just uh, got here. Um, that was considering the change in velocity as um, a fluid went through a certain infinitesimal uh, unit block. And we're considering uh, an, an integration over the volume and um, the surface. Now to determine some equations for motion, we're actually going to be taking a different approach to conservation of momentum. We're going to be looking more at the stresses and then determining from stresses um, the equivalent uh, forces. So we're going to be looking at um, what's called body forces. Uh, body forces are just going to be um, our self weight and we're also going to be looking at surface um, forces. So we're going to be looking at our shear and our normal stresses. Um, which are going to be acting on our surface. So by taking a stress approach, we can still consider uh, the uh, conservation of momentum. So having a look um, at our surface forces, um, we're going to have um, equivalent stresses on uh, acting normal to our surfaces and then those acting parallel, which are going to be our shear uh, stresses. So the naming of the normal stresses is, is pretty easy. We just uh, name it via the axes that it's parallel to. So sigma yy, sigma xx, and sigma zz, parallel to the y-axis, parallel to the x-axis, and parallel to the z-axis. Uh, the naming of the shear stress is a little bit different. Um, we're first going to um, write tau, and then we're going to write uh, the axes 